Okay, Assalamualaikum semua. Salam sejahtera. So today we're gonna continue with our tutorial. This is gonna be the fourth video, and the duration of this video will be around I don't know 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, most probably uh, because uh, saya rasa it's better for me to do short videos daripada yang panjang videos because it takes it takes too long to render sebenarnya. Okay, so maybe this is uh, gonna be like. 20 minutes, then another video, another 30 minutes Okay, so hari ni uh, Kita akan buat uh, floors Okay, kita akan buat lantai Pada projek kita So I hope everybody have this view It's mine Okay, semua orang uh, Saya harap dah buat Sangsin dia kebumbung ni lah Okay, kemungkinan besar next week uh, Mohon siapkan yang kita belajar Sampai hari ni Then saya akan minta awak submit pada saya Sebab saya nak bagi markah Alright, maka the full mark is uh, 100, so I'm going to give around 25% for this uh, particular portion until we learn today lah. Okay, so let's continue our tutorial. Okay, if you want to add a floor, first of all, we have to go to the floor plans. Okay, so now we're going to go to lower level floor plan. So lower level here, so this is going to be your view. Okay, so you can zoom it in and zoom it out using your wheel dekat your uh, mouse okay then go to the ribbon so atas ni adalah ribbon architecture then you're gonna choose floor okay so when you choose floor kita akan pilih make sure it's boundary line here then kita akan choose thick lines okay thick lines ni kita guna bila kita akan guna bila kita dah memang ada garisan yang sedia ada Okay, contohnya di sini memang dah ada garisan, dah ada banyak garisan. Kita bukannya nak buat garisan baru kan? Because we already have the lines. Okay, so we just gonna choose thick lines. Then I'm gonna choose lines yang ni. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima dan enam. Okay. Katakan saya dah puas hati. Okay, I'm satisfied with the, I'm satisfied with this. So I'm just gonna press the finish edit mode okay to look what happened so pop up box ni cakap lines cannot intersect each other the highlighted lines currently intersect okay so bila you zoom rupa-rupanya ada excess dekat sini okay so kita kena bagi elok dulu so how are we gonna do it so you go to your modify you pick the trim and extend this command okay then you choose the lines that you want so i want this line and i want this line there automatically they akan hilang okay bila you tengok semua dah puas hati semua dah okay sebab because when you are creating a floor dia tak boleh ada any uh, lubang ataupun any excess yang terlebih okay it has to be in a full loop tertutup okay so after that, I'm gonna hit this trim tick again. Okay, I'm just gonna change my projector. Lambat. Okay, then she's gonna ask you, would you like walls to go up to this floor level to attach to its bottom? I'm gonna say no. Okay, bila dia dah biru ni, artinya you have your floors. So sekarang ni kita nak buat our second floor pula. Okay, ni pula. So the second floor ni dekat entry level. So you go to your entry level. Then the same architecture floor. Okay. Just now we use pick lines, kan? So now I just want to use lines. Okay. Saya akan ambil line. So I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Tapi saya tak klik eh. Dan saya akan gerakkan saja kursor saya. Okay. If you follow the manual, it says masukkan. 11,000 Baru you click enter Automatically dia akan dapatkan jarak 11,000 tu dekat sini Okay So bila dah dekat sini So I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go to my inner walls Okay here Here Saya akan jarakkan sikit Okay I'm gonna go here Dan saya akan tutup balik klik saya Okay I'm gonna 
hit the green tick again. It's gonna ask the same question. I'm gonna say no again. Okay, so this is the floor for my second for my entry level. Okay. Sekarang ni kita tengok 3D. Okay, so this is our 2D. Okay, kita tak boleh nampak what is inside our house yet. Okay, let's say, okay, sekarang ni saya nak bagi dia shaded eh. So, I'm gonna choose this one dekat my view bar. I'm gonna choose shaded. Okay, saya nampak ada color. So, I cannot see the wall inside here. Okay, salah satu cara that you can do is you click satu element. Okay, then you can see lah daripada sini. Okay, nampak you punya floor, you punya floor. Okay. You go sini. Ni nampak yang glasses ni kan, cermin mata ni. Temporary hide isolate, you click. Then you hide element. Okay. Bila you hide element, artinya benda yang you highlight tadi, dia akan sembunyikan. Uh, then you can see your floor. So this is your floor yang macam kita buat tadi. Another one adalah yang ini. Okay, so this is your lower level floor. This is your empty floor. Okay, done. Lepas tu, how are we going to get our uh, walls back? Okay, you just go back to your glasses tadi. Click. And then reset. Okay, so it's going to close again. Alright, so that is for floors. Okay, sekarang ni kita nak add dinding pula. Okay, we are adding the interior walls. Okay, for this interior walls, so we're going to go to floor plans, lower level. Okay, so this is our lower level. In the ribbon, we're going to choose architecture and we're going to choose wall. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, ni memang dah ada. If yours is not, uh, 200 mm basic wall generic then you can choose it from here ada drop down ni so you choose lah macam mana you nak pilih yang mana so I'm just gonna use yang dicadangkan I'm gonna use 200 mm this one lepas tu I'm gonna click lines ok this is our draw tool we nak start lukis dah ni our walls draw tools then our option bar kat sini make sure the height then the the Gonna set it until entry level. Okay, apa maksud semua semua benda ni? Okay, before that, for location line ni kita set dia dekat wall center line. Kita nak dia berada di tengah tengah wall center line kita. Okay, meaning if you look at the properties sekarang ni wall yang kita nak bina base dia adalah dekat lower level here dan top constraint dia adalah until entry level. Okay. To understand better, kita pergi one of our elevations, then you can see. Okay, so this is our lower level and entry level. Untuk wall yang saya nak bina tadi, kan, the wall tadi tu, saya set base dia dekat sini, wall mula daripada lower level dan akan naik sehingga entry level. Kalau saya nak lagi tinggi, saya set lah dia sampai ke roof. Dia akan naik sampai ke roof. Katakanlah awak tak set, awak letak nan. Okay, contohnya lah awak letak nan. Kan? Ok, saya akan ambil wall balik tadi Architecture Kalau awak tak set Awak letak unconnected Automatically Dia bukan akan berada dekat tempat yang awak nak Ok So, I'm going to choose My entry level Ok, artinya dinding saya Ketinggian dia daripada lower level Pergi ke entry level Ok, so sekarang I'm going to start to draw so mine is gonna be masukkan lapan ribu, okay? So I'm gonna enter eight thousand. Okay, kerja. From this wall, kerja eh. Boleh modify ya. Nanti confuse. Okay, semua dah. Entry level pun dah. Okay, height pun dah. Wall center line pun dah. Everything pun dah. Blue chain. Okay, satu blue chain. Okay, sekarang ni saya letak je dekat end point yang saya akan pergi ke tepi because if I follow the manual, it says enter 8000. 
Oke, okay, Bapak Ibu. Saya otomatik boleh kerja di sini. Okey, lepas tu saya akan pergi ke bawah terus Klik Okey, so saya dah ada satu dinding Lepas tu, saya akan buat lagi Okey, yang ni kita dah main agak-agak je eh Dia tak ada bagi specific uh, amount of number So kita akan agak-agak je So I'm just going to do it like I'm going to do here You anggarkan je eh kat sini One here And then maybe one around here And then We'll do here Okay And Then you click modify Okay, so maybe this is going to be your bathroom Kalau ni, this is going to be your room Ini sepatutnya adalah laluan So, tapi ni, sekarang ni Dia connected, bersambung So, we cannot go in through here So, now we're going to split this wall Kita nak split ke dia So macam ni kita nak split, go to your modify tab So this is the split So ni baru, ok Ni, ni koman yang baru lah kita belajar So you get the split element Click Then you zoom sikit Then you split it here Ok Modify So sekarang ni What are we going to do? Kita nak trim pula We already split it So kita dah split satu bahagian Dan ni dah satu bahagian So there's to components kan so we're gonna trim ok so ambil balik your command trim then kita akan ambil dinding yang kita nak 1, 2 1, 2 ok so now daripada lower level dia akan masuk sini then dia akan ada ruang dia untuk lalu pergi toilet pergi ke bedroom probably ha, yang ni adalah storage sebenarnya Okay, so I forgot to letak lagi satu dinding kat sini So I'm going to modify Okay, sepatutnya kita guna architecture wall macam biasa Or you can do like this You click satu dinding Then you create similar Okay, you nak dinding yang sama Meaning you nak dinding yang sama So I'm going to click this Automatically, dia akan bagi saya dinding yang sama Okay, sekejap Okay, then Escape dua kali So, kita dah ada dinding kita Internal dinding Okay, so now we're gonna go to entry level floor plan pula. Okay, maksudnya kita dah settle dah our dinding kat sini, we're gonna go to entry level. Okay, bahagian entry level. Okay, so I'm gonna ambil lagi yang tadi. Okay, architecture. I'm going to get walls I'm going to hit Okay So generic Same And I'm going to hit Branch juga Dan yang ni Dia suruh kita lukis Ikut gambar dia So kita akan agak-agak jugalah kat sini Okay maybe I'm just going to draw Like this Ni agak-agak je, you can just agak-agak Okay And another one is here Okay Then you tekan Modify So if you look at your manual So gambar tu lebih kurang macam ni Right Then modify Then kita dah selesai pada Adding Floors Dekat lower level dan entry level Dan kita dah selesai Adding walls Interior walls Di lower level dan entry level Okay Saya berhenti setakat ni saja video yang ni Video keempat ni Okay, sekejap lagi Saya sambung ke video yang kelima